This is Benjamin Kaminsky on behalf of Yachts International, largecatamaransforsale.com. It's a sunny afternoon here in Fort Lauderdale, and today we're going to be looking at uh, Niwot, which is a 2006 Leopard 40, lying here in Fort Lauderdale, available for immediate showing and priced aggressively for a quick sale. She's been very well maintained by your current owners, and today we're going to show you on board. So without further ado, so coming on board, we have our port side mechanical space. <clears throat> this boat is equipped with dual Volvo 30 diesels. You got your fuel filters, batteries, everything you need is in here. We'll come back to the cockpit later. For now, let's make our way up to the bow. Coming up top, we have our single trampoline, as well as fiberglass bow seating. I tend to like the fiberglass stuff a little more than the wood. I think it lasts longer. And then we have our Genoa and our Martingale. Now this Martingale on the Leopard 40 is made up of split rod style rigging, which is not the most common, but it is very, very sturdy. Definitely gets the job done. Over here we have our chain locker, as well as storage space for any water or extra fuel tanks. And of course the uh, shutter shades, as I like to call them. Everyone has a different name for these kind of steps, but they're what you find on the pre-2012 Leopards. And Despite looking a bit weird, they do have a very useful function, which is because Leopard's windows are not similar to, say, a lagoon of this era, uh, these shades help uh, provide, well, shade uh, when the sun is at a very high angle. So it helps keep the interior cool. They also provide a way to access on top of the bimini, as well as a position for you to come up here and crank on the mast winches. We'll make our way on top of the bimini. This boat is equipped with 300 watts of solar. So the hard solar panels. And when dealing with solar panels like this, it's important that they be mounted with tabs so that you have airflow beneath the panel themselves because when solar panels get hot their efficiency is reduced so you definitely want to make sure that if you are looking at a boat it has solar panels which are mounted correctly come up top here we have easy access to the sail bag And as I'm sure you've noticed by now, all the canvas on this boat is very, very nice. It's all been redone by the owner recently. Now let's do a quick look at the rig. Single spreader rig. And of course, we also have custom-made window covers, another way to help keep the boat cool when you're on uh, a hot day in Florida or the Caribbean. And as I'm also sure you've noticed, the owner does have a preferred color, to paraphrase Henry Ford. Uh, you can have your boat in any color you like, just so long as it's green. But, joking aside, it is nice to see a sailboat with good canvas. If not, it's just a bit sad. Now, I don't know when the rigging was replaced on this boat, but this is definitely not original. So, probably within the last couple of years, judging by the condition of the swages. We'll 
we'll make our way to the back to the cockpit. Coming up on your helm station, we have dual stainless steel Harken self-tailing winches. Now on these older Leopards, not all of the lines are led backward, but you do have the main sheet, Genoa. So all of the important stuff is there. Coming up here, we have our suite of Raymarine electronics, depth finder, compass, wind indicator, and electronic chart plotter, as well as your engine controls and tachometers, and a nice lazarette for storage of the lines when not in use. Coming up to the stern, we have nice wide sugar scoops. They're not the longest in the world, but you know, they'll accommodate you getting in and out of the boat easily. And on the Leopard 40, this one of course comes with the upgraded fiberglass davits. Very, very sturdy. You've got your grill. Sofa over here. And table for alfresco dining easily accommodate six to seven people. We'll make our way into the salon. Again, custom made cushions. Propane stove with dual basin sink. And oven as well as a microwave. And of course, the little thing that flips out. So you can serve food or drink or whatnot. <laughs> we have our chart table, as well as our AC and DC controls and navigational radio. We'll make our way into the port hole have the aft stateroom. This boat is a charter version, so this is a four stateroom boat. Two heads. We have the first ensuite head, shower. And sink. Here we have the forward head. This boat does have an additional berth forward. However, like many owners, you can optionally convert it to storage if you're not looking to sleep that many people. Have the forward starboard cabin. Take a quick look at some of the storage space here. We have the second head.
and the aft cabin. She's a Morelli and Melvin design, and I think they did a fairly great job of just, you know, getting a lot of storage, even onto a boat, which is only 40 feet. And just as a bonus, take a quick look at the bilges. Very, very clean bilges. <laughs> Some of the cleanest bilges I've seen on a boat this old. <laughs> Just shows you that she's been very well cared for. So that is the Leopard 40. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please contact the listing agent in the description. And if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and uh, I don't have a SoundCloud, but you know, I tend to produce uh, more videos, so hope to see you soon.